What's up, everyone? Thanks so much for tuning in to Ill Vibe Theory, your number one source for hip-hop and R&B in the Las Vegas Valley, broadcasting from Greensman Hall on the campus of UNLV. We are listener-supported, 91.5 The Source, KUNV HD1 Las Vegas. It's your girl, Jay Luna. We got Kaylin Hype, Christian FGY, and our very special guest for the night who we will who we will be interviewing, um, Cameron Calloway. Say what's up to the people. Hey, what's up, people? What's up, man? So, like we mentioned before, I've um, been trying to get this sh- dude on our show for a while. Um, but, yeah, Jocelyn, talk about how you first discovered him, I guess. Okay, so my first encounter with Cameron Calloway was <laughs> I was walking I was walking to class one day, and um, there was something going on, and I think, like, the amphitheater area um, – outside of the student union and i heard somebody singing and i love alan stone i had just been put onto him like only like months before and i heard someone singing unaware like so perfect that i genuinely i was like is alan stone on campus like i've never heard anybody sing this song like that perfect besides alan stone himself yeah. so i had to go to class but I like went to class and all I could think about was like, I have to find this person who's singing right now and I have to get their information so I can interview them. So I ran out. Um, I found Cameron. Luckily, he was still there. And we talked a little bit about like, hey, all in one breath because I like ran. And I was like, hey, I have a radio show. You sing really good. I really like that song that you were singing and we want you on our show. So what's your information? And took it down and... um Everybody gets busy sometimes, so it ended up not happening right away, but he's here, and I'm very excited. Yeah, we finally got this going on, so I'm really happy about that. I'm obsessed with that song. Ooh, I'm looking at some promo (laughs) videos, so that's playing. Um, Shout out to something we're going to talk about, to Pimpa Bunkhouse. Um, But anyways... um, as I was saying, like that's a I don't think that's an easy song to sing. I'm not it's a singer, not. so I wouldn't know. But um talk about like I don't know, your influencers or people that you're influenced by and I'm a huge, huge fan of just the older um soul music. Um a lot of Motown, uh Donny Hathaway and Marvin Gaye, Al Green. Yes. Um Aretha Franklin, Sam Cooke, Otis Redding. I just nice. that's where my heart is at. Yeah. Uh, for that style of music. Excellent, excellent. So, um, how did you get your start in music, I guess? Are you from Las Vegas? Originally, I was born in Long Beach, but I moved here when I was three. Oh, okay. And just been here since. Gotcha. Uh, how I got my start in music? Um, it was about a few years ago. Uh, I just was able to get in my hands on a guitar, and um, I've always wanted to, to play something that complemented my singing and not just be a singer. So, um picked up the guitar playing it and then hit open mics uh, just every week Wow! Um, and then from there just uh, expanded that's mm-hmm. awesome we actually um i was doing like a story on yeah, um i was thinking that something too. at what's that place called the center the center up on maryland and and what a, yeah yes. and yes. you were performing there i was like oh yeah, that's yeah. that guy again <laughs> yeah. so i think you're performing with razar am i saying his name right razar razar yeah. um of the leak yes uh we had them on our show Right before life is beautiful. So yes. shout out to them. So I know you had a performance with them, and that was actually really dope, too. So yeah, some great you kind of got your start with open mic nights and things yeah, like that. Yeah, that, for that one in particular, it was the human experience. Um, oh, yes. That downtown. one was really cool. Yeah. I'd never been to one. I went there just for random, mm-hmm. and um, I learned a lot. It was pretty dope. Yeah, they held it there for a little bit. And um, originally it was at the Beat Coffee House, and they moved mm-hmm. it down there, and now they're at. Um, Hops and nuts, if, I, if okay. I'm saying that correctly. Yeah. Um, hmm. So now they're over there, but really great um, community and people that really supportive yeah. of the, of original art coming from you. So that's um, really, really cool. Awesome. Okay, so do you like write your own music? Do you do a lot of cover? Like, tell me about what your music sounds I, like. I yes, I do. I do write. I do write my own original stuff. Um, from time to time, I play um, some cover tunes and. Um, um, I'll play some, you know, cover songs to make money, make money around here. Um, of course. But uh, I definitely am striving to, you know, that's I make my original music, so that's what I intend to do. Yeah. What is your um, music going to sound like moving forward? Like, if you could describe your music, um, to someone who's never heard you before. Yeah. What is that? Uh, I want it to um, lift the spirit. I wanted to make people feel good, but also m- leave the impression um, that you 
are worth something in this world and that you're not just another a person what you are is unique so i hope to do that with you know music going forward my music going forward yeah Mm -hmm. it got really deep really (laughs) fast i was like wow that's awesome that's beautiful so you mentioned um we did see you performing with rasar and um i know you do your solo work and you also you uh partnered up with rasar and i've seen you a few times um how and when did that collaboration come about me and rasar uh met Actually, at the Human Experience. Yeah. Um, what was it 2016? Uh, early last year. Hmm. Beginning of last year, I believe. Fairly um, new. Met oh, so down that there. was probably really recent when we saw them. Yeah, it had it to be only a time. few months back. Wow. It couldn't, it couldn't have been too far back, but yeah. yeah. So you met at Human Experience. We met at the Human Experience. I had just performed something, and then um, the, the host was like, hey, this is due that said that you were really cool and just wanted to give you a shout out and, and, and meet you hmm. so uh we met when we connected right away um, very organic yes yeah almost uh almost like a a brother and it was just really good connection and genuine so from there we collaborated on stuff um you know we have a project together called camera where um it's just hmm. hip-hop and soul acoustic um we went on tour last july uh some cities in california all the way up to sacramento and wow. back down and that's so that where he's from. from right yes he's from sacramento mm-hmm. that's awesome so where can we find that project like if we wanted to listen to it soundcloud or there is a soundcloud we have a, we do have a soundcloud and we do have a facebook page and okay. it's just camera c-a-m-r-a camera. Mm-hmm. awesome um so we've seen you perform multiple times at unlv at the human experience how do you prepare yourself to perform does it have like does it come with different venue or like do you have like ritual like how do you prepare prepare yourself to perform for people um i think the first thing i try to think of is what's going to make people feel good and then once but that doesn't always work because sometimes i'll get out there and perform and see what everybody's vibing with and Mm -hmm. then it'll change Mm -hmm. but initially it would be just kind of setting straight what music am I going to make people feel good with yeah. and then from there um, I think that's where the magic kind of just takes place sometimes I don't even feel like it's myself but wow. nice. yeah. that's deep and then also um, so you're not new to this at all like in performing the lights just went out but they're going to come back on <laughs> so don't be afraid <laughs> um, <but laughs> anyway. we forget to warn people all the time yeah, I'm sorry I forget that they go out we're so used to it um, but yeah, as it's pitch black in here, um, you performed, well, you've opened up for Alan Stone mm-hmm. recently. I believe I was like in November or something like that. Yeah, um, the internet, which is a crazy show, like so awesome. And these are like really um, dope performers. How did those come about? Are those like artists that you enjoy? Um, you know, I haven't had with uh, with the internet. Um, that was actually uh in part with uh with Mo Robbins from the Retro Lights. Uh, shout out to Mo. Yeah, shout out mm-hmm. to Mo. We played together last year for uh, a little bit and uh he was able to get us on that show with the internet. That a beautiful experience. Got a chance to meet Sid and and yeah. talk to the bandmates a little bit and So uh, genuine, right? And yes. Like, yes, very chill. cool, very down to earth too. Yeah. Um so I got a chance to hear their music and they make really good stuff. Um, and then with Alan Stone, I've been a fan uh, of his for, for a little bit, uh, primarily because of his songwriting. It's very conscious. Um, and I think personally, I think to date, like R and B and soul music kind of fall into this category of kind of just this making love thing. And that's cool, Mm -hmm. but I kind of miss the, the R and B and soul of like Marvin Gaye, what's going on, that kind of stuff. And, um, that's what I hope to bring. But uh, that's why I enjoy Alan Stone yeah. in particular. So definitely a fan of his stuff and was able to get a chance to open for him. Yeah. That's awesome. And opening up for Alan Stone and the likes of, like, the internet and meeting Sid and whatnot, what, what are some of your, like, most notable experiences that you could say that really stuck with you or, like, your favorite performances in the past? Just ever. Ever. Yeah, ever. Mm-hmm. Ever. Man, that's a lot. That's yeah. a lot. I saw Kendrick Lamar at Life is Beautiful. That was great. Stevie Wonder at Life is Beautiful, that was... Um, mm. Life-changing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, because you get to... I mean, 
as uh, you just don't think you'll ever see Stevie Wonder, and he's yeah. just, he's just big, yeah. this big name, yeah, uh, legendary name, you know, who's had the chance to work with, I mean, Smokey Robinson, Michael Jackson, um, a lot of people. He was he was a part of Motown, so when you get to see him, you get to see somebody who was just a part of that, you know, moment in history that changed music. Um, so that was great. I got a chance to. Uh, I saw D'Angelo. Yeah. Did you go to his recent show? At the Chelsea. Yes. At the, yes. I feel like there <laughs> were no was... young people there. So I was like, <laughs> we're definitely the youngest. I felt so out of place. But we were like, I don't care. I know everything. So that's still. There was he some put on young one heck of there. a show. Put on that one heck incredible. of a show. That was incredible. Mm -hmm. That's that's sort of some really, um, really, really good artists. Yeah. It, 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 and what about yourself, though, as a performer? Like being, you know, in front of all of these people, what are some of the craziest moments you've had while performing or favorite um, experience, I guess you could say, or anything like that? I, th I think so far my favorite experience has was probably ha had to be the Internet show. Uh, um, why? We got what well, we got to. Everybody was when you when you hit the stage, you hope people enjoy you. Yeah. And uh, from the start, people were really digging us and there was a part where we covered um uh between the sheets from the Ozzy brothers and then mixed it with uh big papa and that uh, sounds interesting that whole I need to hear they that. were just totally totally vibing that one yeah. so i probably have to say that's probably been my favorite uh experience there i feel like that whole show was like um i guess i, I hate to use this term all the time but like vibey it was just like everyone was just like I don't know. It was like it. real music lovers. Yeah, like ambiance. it didn't matter who hit that stage yeah. as long as you were tight. Like even yeah. if they didn't know you. Like it was a packed place at night too. It was yeah. so packed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like everyone was such a good performer there. I was so disappointed. We got there like mad late, so we didn't see you guys open up. But um, I heard it was really good. Yeah. yeah from a lot probably, of people. Probably will be one of my favorite ones for yeah. uh, for a long time. Awesome, man. Awesome. So we were talking a little bit off air. You guys are in the thing that was the promoting video that was playing in the background. <laughs> um, to Pimp a Bunkhouse. What yes. is that? <laughs> to Pimp a Bunkhouse is uh, it's a show. It's going to be themed around Kendrick Lamar's album, To Pimp a Butterfly. Yeah. So it's going to be me and my band, The Leak, and the Rocky Brown Band. And we're each going to do um, a song or two from the album. Wow. And uh, we're going to do our original music, but we're going to throw that in there, too. Um, yeah. Because it's such a great album. Incredible. Uh, but, yeah. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of different things that that album is talking about historically. Mm -hmm. um, but even musically, too, with the jazz influences with, throughout that album, too. So great album. And I'm happy that it's got 11 nominations. Yeah, um, really. Finally. So that's like, awesome. Crazy. Yeah. So we're uh, I'm excited, man. It's going to be a great show. It's going to yeah. be a great show. Can I have a hint of like one song that you guys are doing that you're doing from that show? Yeah. Hmm. I know you guys are practicing. You we like, are. you know. We're, we're going to do a uh, Kesha. You're going to do what? We're going to do a song from Kesha. From Kesha? Yeah. The singer, the pop singer. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, I'm like <laughs> <laughs> to pimp a bunk house, Kesha. I, I was trying not to be, um, you know, I was trying no, to be not chill at all. about it. <laughs> yeah, we're we're uh, we're planning some cool stuff. Um, don't want to give too too much information it's out. Secret. I know. I I just wanted to try. Kellen over here trying to. Trying I was to trying to get, get an exclusive though. Like, I, I, I told hey, her earlier. I was like, Nah, you don't even, man. <laughs> chill. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the, yeah. We need to we need to try. Um, what's like one of your personal favorites from that album? Oh man, that's a tough one. Yeah. Uh, how much a dollar cost? Why? I, I had to listen to that song a few times. Yeah. Through, to, to see what he was saying, yeah. and then when so you, cool. when it finally hits you, you realize that this, this dude on this, who's been asking for a dollar the whole time, um, is God, talking to Kendrick. Um, that was like, whoa, man, that's a, yeah. it's a beautiful way that it was put. Yeah. You and Obama got the same music taste, bro. You know, that's his favorite, that's his favorite track off the album. In an that one? Yeah. I didn't I know that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's, that it's, was it's, really it's random. Just, just ra hey, I heard I mean, it was. I not many people say that that's the favorite <laughs> track off the album, so. Mm. Yeah, I mean, to me. A lot. Yeah, yeah. From what I've asked. Mine's is Mortal Man, personally. Oh, man. Yeah, so. 
I almost teared up at the end of that. Yeah, it, it's it, seriously emotionally. Not, I was yes. like, yo, yeah. and transitioning from I into that anyway. You know, yes. like it's such a beautiful transition mm-hmm. and stuff. But anyway, on the topic of music right now, we're talking about the Pimple Butterfly. What's some of the music you're listening to right now too that's interesting to you? Like any notable albums that you would say catch your eye? Um. Your ear. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your eye. Be. I got my senses wrong that's a, today. That's a Kendrick song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're still on Kendrick. That's why. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh man. You know what? I'm. I mean, very. There's very. I'm not. I'm always backtracking for music. Mm. Um, that's why when people tell me about certain artists today, I am no clue because I'm not really in tune with the, a lot of the music today. So I'm always backtracking. But there, there's a few artists that I. I Gary Clark Jr., um, I mean, Alan Stone, um, also City in Color, if anybody mm. listens to City in Color, that's awesome, awesome singer-songwriter. Um, but really just backtracking, you know? Just, yeah. I just love the older style of the music. So yeah. I'm definitely open to hearing about <laughs> the new stuff. Do you get called, like, do people tell you you're an old soul often? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, I, f- I get that vibe from you that mm. you have an yeah. old soul. I'm interested in knowing about um, your music background. So you said you just picked up a guitar. Um, like, how did that happen? Um, what did you play in school? Did you like middle how school? Did this I played saxophone. Up? Okay. Um, if I could sum it up, d- high school was a transition of I was listening to a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of R and B music and when i say that it was like jay holiday chris brown bobby valentino <laughs> who wasn't <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> jams um you know tyrese like just all that stuff yeah and um after that it kind of transitioned into just listening to a lot of different genres but um i mean the first one of the first cities i picked up in middle school was a motown cd and so when everybody was listening to Fifty Cent's first album, yeah. <laughs> all my biggest. friends are all my friends are telling me Yo, about get it. Richard die trying, yeah, get Richard man. Die trying. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's telling me about so that. You were, you were that kid. That's awesome. Right. People were telling me about that album, but I'm yeah. like, dude, have you heard of this Smokey Robinson track? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's, that's funny, good. Yeah. That's good. So, um, like, as far as like people checking out your music now, we said camera. Uh, we can hear that. I know you also sent in a few like live recordings. Is mm. that on your SoundCloud? Like, how can we listen? Or so YouTube that's that's or... the that's the uh, that's the SoundCloud for me and Rosara. I have my own personal okay. uh, music uh, page. It's uh, you check me out on CameronCalloway dot com. Cool. And you can find everything on there: um, music and videos and and photos and updates on my new shows and stuff like that. Thank you so much for vibing out with us tonight. We got Cameron Calloway in the building. He's about to sing for us a little bit. That was a long music break, um, just to space out the chatting. But that was just Anderson Pac with featuring Schoolboy Q, um, Am I Wrong, Chaz French, and Gold Link with Ready. We also played um, Sam by L.A., The Internet with You Don't Even Know featuring Tay Walker, Kendrick with Mama, and then throwing it back to Tupac with for love so we're ready to do this he was so ready i asked him i was like can we get you to you know sing and he's like yeah i'll bring my guitar i'm all set so what are you gonna sing for us i'm gonna sing a song that that'll be on my album uh it's called supernatural and it's just a just a tune about trying to deal with the negativity okay Have you ever wondered what goes up bumping in the night? Horror of a terror, goosebumps, the chills, and the fright. If I fall from my heart, beats down by the sound of a drum. This, this, all in my hand. I was there 
about that song yeah Thank you. we got enough people Thank that's awesome. <laughs> that's so awesome <laughs> tell me about the inspiration behind that song um that one i was trying to find a way to write about how no matter how positive i try to be there's always going to be the negative energy that comes at you mm. um so th- that's I mean, essentially that's what the song is about just trying to yeah. dock or uh, trying to duck the uh the negative kind of energy that comes towards you. Wow. So the supernatural. That's yeah. incredible. I was not, I mean, I've heard you sing before, but that's a really, really dope song. Thank awesome. you for performing <laughs> thank that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. That's so awesome. Well, we have eight minutes. So if you would like to bless us with something else, let yeah. your heart go. <laughs> uh, let's see. This one is called um, This one's called Remind You And it's just about uh, 
it's about a song. It's about a song. It's just about not paying attention to TV and what magazine says about how you should be and just embrace who you are. So. Y'all, that was not a recording. That was just live. <laughs> that really just happened in here. And we will post that. That was awesome. incredible. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Well, I can't wait to hear the album. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wow. so excited. Hopefully I up cannot by, uh, wait. Spring and 
Hopefully, hopefully. That's so awesome. So he will be performing on Tell Him About Tomorrow and then To Pimp a Bunkhouse. So tomorrow, uh, if you like, catch us on uh, Vegas Valley Live. It's uh, Channel 13. It uh, starts at 2 p.m. And me and my band will be playing uh, a tune there. And also Thursday, January 28th, To Pimp a Bunkhouse. It's me and my band, The Leak, and the Rocky Brown Band. And uh, we're doing a tribute um, night to Kendrick Lamar where we'll be playing our original songs, but also implementing some tunes from the To Pimper Butterfly album. That is so incredible. So where can we find you, social media, all that? Because I'm sure everyone's going to want to find out more. You can find me at uh, CameronCalloway.com. So C-A-M-E-R-O-N-C-A-L-L-O-W-A-Y. And I got everything on there. It's you know Instagram and Twitter and videos and SoundCloud, YouTube, all that cool stuff. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so, so no, much you. for coming through. I'm so happy me. this finally happened. Me <laughs> yeah. too. Um, you're definitely going to be one of our ill vibe picks. We got Tuesday Blend in the house, so I'm sure they uh. are just as impressed <laughs> as us. So shout out to Karen and Christian. But yeah, thank you so much for coming through.